through the years there was this recognition that work and learning are sort of like overlapping in many ways and in one way you can easily see that in our everyday work we have to learn and give ourselves updated with what's the emerging skills like the new softwares that are every day going out there. So we think it's uh, very interesting to investigate how these spaces between work and learning contaminate each other. So I think there is quite a lot of potential in this through thinking in these kinds of terms. And I think that that is a possibility. I, mean, I do think, for example, I mean, I was quite struck by the point he's making about shared spaces moving from the workplace to the, not necessarily to homework, but, but into these other more community beds. That is actually the beginning of a new and rather more radical way of thinking about the work-life balance and anything that we've seen yet. And of course it's precisely because it's a regaining of a certain kind of control over your work and space and time that it will be very much opposed by a lot of bosses, I suspect.